Well, welcome back to another exciting episode of uh, Toll for Talks, where I, um, I don't know, just kind of go through the whatever I'm reading, whatever I happened across at the, you know, secondhand stores, or um, in this case, uh, the small town I live in actually has a comic book shop, which is crazy. I don't know if there's ever been like a proper um, comic book, um, you know, local LCS in town ever. Um, there were a couple guys that were selling comics out of uh, their garage about 15 years ago, just off the interstate. And that is, as far as I know, man, that's it. That's all we've had. So, um, I've been going down, you know, for the last six weeks or so on, um, you know, Wednesday and buying a few things. A lot of it I haven't even read, but it's just kind of the idea that there's like some guys in town that care enough to try to do this. And I think it's pretty cool. But, um, so like a couple of the books I bought are, you know, nightclub one and two. And I, you know, I've been trying to figure out why exactly I bought these and I don't know. <laughs> I guess, man, I have to admit, it was, you know, the $1.99 um, cover price. It's just, uh, you know, it was just so cheap. It just seemed, like, too easy. And, you know, there was just no way to lose. And, you know, I think, yeah, definitely, there. it was fun. It's fun to buy new comics. Um, and for buck ninety nine, they're okay. Mark Millar, you know, I mean, maybe that was part of it. I've been watching Smallville. And so I might have confused, I think I was like confusing Miles and Mark at the moment. Because, um, I mean, Mark's stuff is okay. This was okay. I remember this being okay. It was kind of interesting. It kind of stuck out, you know, kind of stuck in my mind. It wasn't, um, stellar. But, you know, I remember it, I enjoyed reading it. You know, the stuff is okay. It's all pretty okay. That Jupiter, is it Jupiter Rising in Netflix? I didn't read the comic, but it was okay. It was pretty good. I don't know that I've actually watched, you know, I got through it and then I had the last episode left and for some reason I haven't watched it. So, I mean, I guess, you know, Mark Millar, I associate him with, you know, stuff that's okay, pretty okay. It, it never sucks. It's always all right. It's not too bad. And this is kind of the same way. It's not too bad. First issue, um, yeah, I actually thought was, was kind of fun. Ramirez's pencils, you know, his art is pretty good. I don't know what he, if he does all the art. No, there's a colorist, but it's um, him and, and Fabiana Mascola on colors. And so it just starts off these kids, you know, they've got a YouTube channel and they're going to do some crazy things, or at least, um, you know, the leader of the band is going to do some crazy things to try to, um, you know, up their views. And, um, I can relate. I'm feeling that way. I think I need to do something insane, something really wild. But anyway, for Danny, it does not go well. Danny ends up, you know with a broken spine <laughs> he's paralyzed and anyway it sucks it's kind of a a drag but you know this vampire comes along and he's like i am gonna help this guy out and um turns out he's uh some kind of a uh, vampire cop or something which i don't know as far as i know that's kind of a maybe a new twist on it i don't know on the whole vampire thing. Um, since reading this, I've heard that um, Mark um, Millar thought that, you know, he was kind of inventing the vampire superhero. And I, I don't know. It's hard for me to believe that he's never heard of Blade or Angel. So I kind of wish he wouldn't have, I, might, I don't know. You know, it is what it is. There's nothing new under the sun. It's okay. But, you know, so this is, uh, Danny's being introduced to his powers, you know, and it's actually, 
you know, pretty okay. The art, you know, is, is very okay. Actually, I don't know, I'm kind of torn. There's uh, some things about it that just I'm not thrilled with. But, man, he, he gets the, the likenesses of the characters down, and that's really nice. I really appreciate that. You know, he's got faces, he's got hands. I mean, I've heard it said that if you can draw faces and you can draw hands convincingly, you can make it as a comic artist. And, yeah, I think it's, it's pretty good. And here, at the end, he appears to his friends. So this week, they had issue two in. Um, there are two covers, the black and white, and then a color version of the same color a cover. And I'm kind of partial to black and white. So, um, I, uh, yeah, I went with the black and white. And, you know, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure what to think after reading this. Um, you know, Danny's hanging with his friends. And he thinks... You know, it'd be a really cool idea if they became <laughs> a gang of teenage vampires, which is, I don't know. I mean, that's okay, but it just seemed like his buddies went along with it a little too quickly. I mean, they're what, they didn't really think this thing out. So, I mean, by the end of the book, all three of them are vampires. And, um, you know, his one buddy is is kicking the ass of the the bully at school so it just seemed a little bit too i mean there wasn't a twist in it it was just like yeah of course that's what's going to happen if <laughs> you don't know, come up with something interesting um so i don't know i was thinking man it would have been kind of cool if he would have kept his friends around for a while and maybe there was some kind of conflict there like he wanted him to become you know, this vampire gang, and they weren't, like, quite on board with it, and then maybe a few things happened, and, you know, over the course of some issues, they, you know, it happened, but, um, this seems more like, yeah, okay, my buddies are vampires, and now we're going to go on these wacky adventures, you know, and if that's what it's all about, I'm probably not going to, I mean, I think it's just a five or six issue series, so, I mean, I guess it's not planning on, you know, this long run, but, um, it sounds like the idea is that this will become a Netflix series, and, yeah, so here, here we go, there's the bully, and, man, he gets, gets it, but, um, you know, with that said, kind of, it's okay, it's not bad, I'm gonna buy the next few issues, because, um, I, I think it's got a, there's got to be a twist in there. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I hope so. Anyway, thanks for uh, checking in. Um, please, uh, you know, take a look at the Indiegogo link at the top of my YouTube page. I'm working on this book. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I was thinking crowdfunding, but since I uh, started the crowdfund, um, I don't know. It's, uh, it seems like it's one thing if you're a guy hanging out on the internet and you're working on a book, it's another thing if you have a book done. So <laughs> I don't know. I mean, um, I've been hearing about this, uh, Cobra book on Etsy that uh, a lot of people are reading and that sells out fairly regularly. So I think I'm going to check that out and that, that might be where I head, but you know, until then, um, I'll keep everybody posted from, uh, you know, Twitter or, um, you know, the Indiegogo page. So, well, uh, yeah, thanks for checking the video out. If you hung in this long, man, I really appreciate it. Thanks. Take care.